All right, so now I have to take the outer shell that I just sewed the baffles to and sew it to the inner shell, which is going to match the uh, Tamic chair's uh, body. And I have it drawn in. You can't see the lines right here they are. The baffle lines that go across that match those and these here. However, this entire square, while it matches this square in in dimension and in, in shape but not in total dimensions this one's actually longer and wider and we'll just um, apply a series of pleats um, along the lines of the baffles where needed to make it fit all within that smaller inner shell dimension and that'll give the differential cut it'll make it hopefully keep its uh, loft so let's see how it goes to show you what it looks like putting in, put it on with, for the differential. Um, this line here all the way up to this one has to match up with this dimension, but it's a longer dimension. So the spots that I marked, I um, put in the pleats on the baffle and then it matches up, if that makes sense. And then I'll do the same thing on this line with this one. And then this bottom piece will be ready. There's another, another little bit of my secret sauce, if you will. When I factor in the fabric, like here's the perimeter where the quill will be sewn down, but I have my baffle walls, um, and so I have that extra length, and I'll start my sewing along the same line of where the top of the baffle wall is, and then when I'm done, all this kind of bunches down and sews down, and it lets the baffle wall stay vertical, if that makes sense. So you don't start sewing at the end here. I'll start sewing here. This is kind of how you prepare to make sure that your, uh, your pleats and your differential work out. So I have my line up here with where I sew it down, leaving the vertical baffle wall space to come down when I'm done. This is my starting point. And then I just mark off my pleats ahead of time and make sure when I get to the other end that I don't have like excessive. And when I sew, I'll stop about like three quarters or half, just give an eyeball, pull the fabric down, make sure you don't want to come up short. You come up short, you're done. Hope that helped. You doing a video or a photo? Video. Oh, well show the underneath of it then. Come over here, walk around and go underneath and kind of, no, no, don't get too close. Step back and go under. Back up some and show underneath here. I'm gonna show where our, our loft, ready? Our, can you see my hand in the video? Yeah. Um, I overdid it actually, I think. <laughs> I think this has like four inches of loft or something. It's, it's. Really soft. I kind of miscalculated some things when I built this, obviously, but it has, it has like five inches of loft. Um, Charlie, show where, um, just right here, part of this hammock just kind of goes under you and tensions. It's just part of the deal. Cool. All right. Give it to me. Sylvie. Walk around. This is where it point it attaches at and tensions on the rubber band here. And that's all that keeps it tight. And it's like a second hammock on the hammock chair. And um, I way overdid it. I added a significant amount of differential to this thing. I mean, this is like, this is like five or six inch. I don't even know. I'll have to measure it. I, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> and once it kind of collapses all in, it, I think it, what happened was it kind of scrunched all together and lowered. So the amount of, um, and uh, I have it in the chair mode. You know, these hammock chairs, you kind of can hang with your butt low. And it's in the Tensa 4 stand, by the way. Best stand on the market, period. Awesome. But um, you can, I haven't tried it laying down. I think the, one of my flaws of doing this was that I didn't have the baffles up here enough. But I was kind of trying to keep the weight down, ironically. But I probably could remove some down, but <laughs> it's... It's overbuilt. I'm not sure. Well, I might talk to my buddy about it and see, but um, it has zero compression. There's no. There's so much extra fabric that there just isn't such a thing as compression. 
So the, the where the seams are at are about two and a little bit more than two inches. So there's that's the minimum baffle height there. So I um, I put about like twenty percent extra fabric both in the length and the width, and um, it absolutely is puffy. Um, blown away.